Good evening and welcome to the 60th Lord Dorchester Secondary School Commencement and also to the second virtual Lord Dorchester Secondary School Commencement. Welcome back graduates and welcome to your family and friends who are able to join us. You will hear tonight from Mrs. Powell, our Superintendent of Student Achievement on behalf of the Thames Valley District School Board. You will also hear from trustees Arlene Morrell and Sean Hunt on behalf of the Board of Education and the trustees. Before I send you off to hear their words of congratulations, I would like to share my congratulations on behalf of the teachers, the support staff, Mrs. Lashbrook Sherman, Mr. Anderson, and Mr. Telfer, the three vice principals that work with you here at your, in your time at LDSS, and me, Ms. Sullivan, your very proud principal. Usually I find a quote from an author or a poet or an athlete whose quotation symbolizes the year. This time I decided to do what many of you will do for the rest of your lives. I went back to the words of an LDSS teacher, Mrs. Ashby. At the start of last year, Mrs. Ashby greeted the new teachers with some beaver facts and a metaphor. With her permission, I'm going to share those beaver facts with you. And I am also going to share a slightly altered metaphor because I know that everything you need to know, you learned at LDSS. First, a few beaver facts. Beavers are rodents whose teeth always grow so they can chew up anything they want and, web, and they have webbed feet to hold more and help them swim effectively. Their tails are strong rudders that help them maneuver through rough waters and to turn quickly. Just above their tails is a castor gland that makes the oil they spread on their fur and the oil makes them waterproof. They also use their powerful tails to slap a warning when danger is near. They close their ears and their nose off when they dive. And a very cool fact is that they have nictitating membrane, which is a second eyelid that they use to cover their eyes and provide clarity when they're underwater. Also, beavers live as a family and work as a unit or as a team. As Mrs. Ashby pointed out, as beavers, we have all the tools we need. You can slap your tail to warn off danger, and you know you have the strength to rudder you through tough times. You have the ability to close your ears and nose to negativity and unwelcome observations, and you have the second set of eyelids to help provide clarity. At the same time, you can spread your webbed feet wide enough to be able to hold up onto new ideas. But if times are overwhelming, you have the castor oil that allows you to let things slide off your back. Most importantly, you have a beaver family that has worked together in the past and built a strong team that will serve you in the future. You know you have the power to build a dam that will direct the flow of things to come and to create a new pond. The beavers are a proud and noble animal and you each have it in you to face what is to come, whatever that may be. Take what you've learned here at LDSS and do good things, Beavers. We are very proud of you. We know this has been a tough couple of years for you and we're proud of you and know that you are on your way and you have what it takes to shape your future. Congratulations, Beavers, and good luck.
Welcome graduates, family, staff, and friends. I'm Sheila Powell, Superintendent of Student Achievement. It's my pleasure to bring greetings today on behalf of the school board to wish you all the best and to congratulate you on your success. A year ago, we thought that the previous year had been very challenging. Little did we know that some of those challenges would continue. It's been an interesting 18 months for you in your last bit of high school. You've persevered, you've shown that you're flexible, you can adapt to change, and despite the many, many challenges, you can reach your goals. We are all shaped by our experiences and most importantly, by how we respond to them. You've experienced constant change and you've responded so well to make sure that you can move forward and adapt and be ready for whatever the future may bring for you. Former First Lady Michelle Obama had some very simple words for us that are great advice for all of us as we look to the future and continue to grow and develop. Don't be afraid, be focused, be determined, be hopeful, be empowered. In your years of high school, you've learned to pers persevere and to adapt to change, and you've looked to lean on others for support and to provide that support for others as well. Graduates, whatever life brings your way, you can do this. We are so incredibly proud of you, and we wish you all the success in your future endeavors. Please keep a little bit of Lord Dorchester with you wherever you go, and we look forward to connecting back with you as you continue to be part of the Dorchester School community. Congratulations and best wishes. In celebration of student success and achievement, it is with great pride, Trustee Sean Hunt and myself, Trustee Arlene Morrell, offer our congratulations in achieving this graduation milestone. While the school year and graduation celebration perhaps is different than hoped, this celebration affirms each student's search for knowledge the graduates, during your time at secondary school, you studied, practiced, tested your learning and hopefully had some fun. It takes an ongoing commitment to your educational goals to graduate from secondary school and you should take great pride in this accomplishment. I'd also like to recognize the people who have supported the graduates throughout this journey. To the family, friends and school staff, school administration who make each student's success possible, thank you. To the graduates, take great pride in your accomplishments. We sincerely wish each and every one the best. Your futures are bright. Hi, I'm Allison Warwick, Mayor of Tem Centre. On behalf of myself and our council, I would like to send congratulations. It's been and still is an unprecedented time, and I thank you, your parents, and the staff of administration of Lord Dorchester Secondary School for all of your hard work and flexibility. Lord Dorchester is a very important part of our community. Students have been valuable as volunteers in many events, and your knowledge and energy is much appreciated. All the best to each and every one of you for the future. Congratulations and good luck.
Good morning, afternoon, or night, depending on when you're watching me. I'd like to thank all of the LDSS staff, honored guests, parents, and friends for clicking play on me today. My name is Johnny Ledgley, and I'm here to do a little reminiscing about our time at LDSS, and while doing so, see how much we've all changed and grown. It's hard to believe that it's only been four years since our innocent little heads poked through the doors with no certain knowledge of what was to come. Yet here we all are, after all this time, starting the next chapter in our lives as completely different people. I, for one, am glad to be sitting at home in comfortable clothes, not having to awkwardly talk to the teachers we pretended to like for good grades. It would have been fun to look out at all of you and see your beautiful faces. Well, give you a side, of course, and give you this speech in person, but I'll take what I can get. Plus, almost all of you have probably heard me talk enough for a lifetime anyways. Now, as far as regular high school experiences go, we fell a little short in that area. I'm not sure if any of you have heard, but over the last two years or so, there's been a global pandemic known as COVID-19. And from a school perspective, COVID really came in handy. In grade 11, when they said our marks couldn't change, this was a uh, great opportunity to get the highest marks of our high school careers and to be able to learn without the stress of passing. Or in my case, mentally quit school for the year and go have the longest summer ever because it's not like my grades were gonna go up anyways. <laughs> as much of an upside that was, there of course was a lot of things that we missed out on as well. Sports, dances, concerts, plays, basically anything that would bring us any sort of joy. Stuck at home, we actually found ourselves hanging out with our parents by choice. In the end, we really got skunked out of our grade 12 year. I think as a group, we should just agree that once COVID is over, we all come back and have a real grade 12 year, because I sure miss having everybody here together. We may have had some bumps in the road for the last chunk of high school, but we started out in much better shape. 2017, a more magical time, a time without masks, without lockdowns, a time where social distancing was never even a thought. The good old days. We got to see Tenant absolutely destroy a desk, somehow convincing everyone it was for educational purposes. We also learned things that were crucial for serving high school as well. I've actually compiled a list of what I felt were the most beneficial lessons. Number one, in high school, it doesn't necessarily matter how smart you are, it's about how hard you try and whether or not you're willing to work. Number two, who you surround yourself with can make all the difference. Look at Andrew. For example, uh, he hung out with me, and now he's a genius. <laughs> Number three, you're never the only one with a problem. Nine times out of ten, other people are just as confused. So my word of advice for that is, wait for them to ask the question so you're the one who seems like they know everything. Number four, this one may be the most important of all, and this speech is Exhibit A. Procrastination works. If you start a project the night before, it only takes one night. Simple logic. I've actually got a quick story about procrastinating and how this speech even came to be. About four or five months ago, I was awarded the glorious honor of giving the valedictorian address. With all this responsibility and months to write the best speech any of you have ever heard, I did exactly what anybody would have guessed and started writing my speech two weeks ago. This might seem like a terrible idea, but here I am knocking everybody's socks off anyways. I can't believe me of all people is saying this, but we wouldn't be the people we are today without every single teacher in the school. Where would we all be in our lives if Mr. Tower hadn't taught us the Charleston? And let me tell you, it's made meeting new people very easy. We know Sam will never be the same after Middleton's repeated wax to the head just to prove something had static electricity or whatever he claimed it was. Miss Cowdery teaching us uh, equations so complex I couldn't even come up with an example or Mr. Cowhill trying to get the class to do the one day of theory when we just wanted to play Final Countdown. Then there's Mr. Dawson who came in and filled Ganell's shoes and he did it without cursing or swearing, just as Jack would have wanted. I know anybody who had Mr. Dagger for Jim played dodgeball at least three or four hundred times, but here's the catch. He would find a new variation of the game just to keep things interesting. And let's not forget about Bayshard and Robson. Even after all this time, I still don't know how to set up a document in MLA format. Some teachers took it a step further, agreeing to coach us and see us for more time than they had to each day. From running way too far with Mr. Tennant to watching Owen on the basketball court dazzling everybody with Pollard, or even Leah cleaning up in every track and field event and then again at the athletic banquet. 
Every athlete owes it to the teachers who did it way more than they had to just so we could compete. We learned lessons from teachers every day more than academically, and we continue to use them every day in our post-secondary lives. I wanted to take a minute to give a special thank you to my grandma, and I hope she didn't get bored of me yet and is still watching. I'm sure all of you know this, but we're all required to get at least a grade 11 math credit, and if it wasn't for my grandma, I wouldn't even come close to passing. She's also responsible for my dad being the way he is, so she just sort of broke even overall. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say, guys. We did it. We graduated. I'm proud of all of us, and I wish we could all be together for some goodbye hugs, but again, COVID. I can't wait for the next time I get to see you guys, whether it's a couple hours from now or a couple years. Either way, I'll be excited. As a final goodbye, I want everybody to remember, whatever you do in this life, it's not legendary unless your friends are there to see it. Thank you all for listening today. All the best. As VP, I would like to conclude today's proceedings with a few words to our graduates. As you proceed to the next chapter of your lives, I offer the following ingredients for success, things that I have observed in people I've known and worked with over the years. First, integrity. If you carry out your responsibilities consistently to the best of your ability, people will trust you as a colleague and turn to you for leadership. Next, courage. In the face of adversity and even tragedy, Try to remember the reasons for optimism and never be afraid to ask for help. Look after yourself, especially your health, both physical and mental. Follow your instincts and curiosity wherever they lead and broaden your knowledge by reading as much as you can. Embrace opportunities to collaborate. It's the key to success as our success as a society and it helps us grow as individuals. Be bold and take risks and don't let fear of failure stop you. Failure is a part of life. It's another way to learn. Change is a part of life too. At times it's frightening, but we should see it as a chance to explore and to test our limits. Above all, enjoy what you do. Take pleasure and satisfaction in what you achieve. Along with the personal characteristics I've mentioned above, this is the key to a happy life. Whatever your next steps are, I invite you to see your studies as part of a lifetime of learning, and I encourage you to use the learning to leave every situation better than it was when you arrived. Graduates and now alumni of Lord Dorchester Secondary School, congratulations. You've worked hard. You deserve to be proud of this achievement and to take the opportunity to celebrate. Good luck and good health to you all.